Welcome to Kryn. It's looking very purple. Hello. I don't think that the translator will work in this situation. And I believe we are in the other end of the transporter. And if we press this button, I'm sure it will send us back to the missile silo. So let's not do that. And these look like two more transporters, but we do not know where the actual destination is, so let's not mess around. So now we know that Agent 3 was the other agents from the other time zones, and the Kryn were involved as well. I mean, the Kryn were a bit pissed off that they did not get the time travel technology. So it seems like they've employed Agent 3 as a double agent. Was well, she double agent? To plant these objects in these other time zones. And the Kryn were the people who bought them. And it's now our job to retrieve them as they've taken them off us. We have two directions. Let's try left first. Hi. I don't think that we are under any danger at the moment. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. Now, in the other direction, the, the actual forward arrow was highlighted, but this way it isn't. I'm not too sure why. But to advance, we need to press this little contraption here. What on earth is this? I guess we will find out momentarily. And this is Richard I's sword. We've only got one object that can open up these little compartments. And we may as well get the thing that can cut things, as we will have nothing else left to do. Well, nothing else left to use after we use this explosive charge. There we go. And this looks like the cheese girl. I'm not exactly sure why the aliens, well, the Kryn, thought that this was worth saving. Okay, now I know.
Ah, okay. So, all we have to let, all we need to do now is escape. I guess in some ways this little blue tube here is a hint of actually how we traverse through these tunnels. As right now we have no means of actually moving. But we do have a sword. There we go. Now I'm going to pre prepare this. It may not make any sense at the moment. But just like the cheese girl, there is actually a warning that comes with this. The generator core will interfere with transport beams if not stored in your null no time pocket. And that's going to be very important. I don't mean to spoil anything, but I thought I'd point out the warning. Otherwise, this next segment will make no sense whatsoever. And here we go, we are in a transporter beam. Oh yes, one last thing to do. Where did he go? I'm sure this was a transporter, so surely it should have transported him somewhere other than down the tunnel. But anyway, we have done all that we need, needed to do. Thank you. We have collected all of these artifacts and we have defeated the main boss. So let's head back to Earth. We have, Your Honor. We, the jury, find Gage Blackwood innocent on all accounts. Whoa! 
Well, I have to say that even I'm impressed. I've been cleared of any wrongdoing, and the Kryn have been expelled from the Symbiotry. Now there's just one thing left to do. You can't stay here, but sending you back with knowledge of the future will cause a temporal distortion wave. So that leaves us with only one option. Sorry, but... Mind wipe initiated. Whoa, did you ever get the feeling of deja vu? And here we are. Why does Gage always look so smug all the time? Okay, I'm not going for a perfect score run, but what the hell is this? Okay. I can understand that using the hints lowers your score, but we only missed three research bonuses. So, uh, the maximum score we can reach is 15,000, so only 300 away from that score? Not too bad. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you for the Journeyman Project 3 Legacy of Time. Take care. Bye-bye.